Welcome to another MTD Technical Corner. Now today we're talking about machine crashes, how you avoid them. Now Ken, um, you've got some really nice kind of, I guess, high value components here. When machine shops are making components like this, what um, what causes a machine crash and, 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 and scrapping a component like this? Well, the two biggest reasons that we have found that people crash their machine is human error. Um, so that could be either set in the wrong tool length uh, when you're loading your tools or having the wrong datum set the what you've actually programmed in your cam system absolutely and those those are normally typed in by an operator just just the number maybe off a piece of post-it note or a piece of paper or calculated from a probe and how normally would operators or engineers check those the offsets before they run a program well they would set the machine up typically from a setup sheet but that is uh, that is relying on them putting the information in correctly, not mistyping something, or that is the information that they've got on the setup sheet actually the most current and up-to-date. Absolutely, and there's big knock-on effects to this kind, to a, to a collision because of a wrong tool off. So even though it's such a simple mistake, it can have really big consequences. It can, you know, the, the worst case is though it smashed your spindle, so you need a new spindle, which is obviously a very high cost. There's the reputational damage that you maybe let a customer down, and then also the downtime that you've got that you can't use that machine until you've replaced and recalibrated the spindle. And as you can see on the screen here, we've got, um, this is a, a new product from Hypermill, it's virtual machining, and you can see the machine running, you can simulate, you can even optimize uh, different linking paths and, and whatnot. But today we're talking about a very special part of virtual machining, what is it? It's, we're talking about connected machining. So this is now, connecting the cam system to the machine so you can then have you can pass information bi-directional so you can check that everything is correct absolutely and how does it work so connect the machine directly connects your machine control what happens to um the data how uh, what can you see on the machine well, on the you know, pc what can you do on the machine tool so by connecting to the machine we can of course transfer the nc file which is nothing new at all but it's bi-directional so we can find out what tool lengths are actually set compared to what is set in the cam system it will highlight if they're if they don't match but then also simulate with the datum that is set on the machine so if that is then wrong you will see that on simulation before you actually press cycle start on the machine tool and for those customers who are listening to this and thinking well i've been running machines for 20 years my operators have been running machines we've never had to check a tool offset before what would you say to to, to that kind of that kind of question there's always a first time for everything and when it does happen uh, you'll probably then wish that you you had some process in for checking this sort of thing and sometimes when you're trying to integrate with machine controls there are different kinds of compatibilities available um, for those customers with different machine shops with different kinds of machine tools what controls can you integrate with uh, so we can integrate with Heidenhain, Siemens, uh, Mazatrol and FANUC is just about to be released, but I would say whatever machine type or control you've got, get in contact with us. We can verify you know, versions that you're running and just give you a concrete answer of whether connected can be run at this current time. But more, more machines and controls are coming online uh, all the time. And if you wanna try and reduce your chance or even eliminate your chance of machine crashes, get in touch with Hypermill now to find out if your machine can be connected.